Can humans now travel to the moon? NASA's Orion space capsule made a successful return to Earth. The unscrewed capsule floated down to the Pacific on December 11th. NASA, we had a picture-perfect splashdown, said Melissa Jones, NASA's landing and recovery director. The main goal of this mission was to test if humans can withstand the temperature inside the Orion. It tested Orion's heat shield for the day. It had to withstand a temperature of 2,800 degrees centigrade. The falling spacecraft eased to a speed of 20 miles per hour. Hence, the Artemis 1 mission is accomplished. And I don't think any one of us could have imagined the mission this successful, but we had a very successful flight test. We now have a foundational deep space transportation system. And while we haven't looked at all the data that we've acquired, we will do that over the coming days and weeks and fully understand and appreciate the margins that are there. Artemis 1 mission is more than a 25-day journey around the moon. Focusing on capability to extend human existence to the moon, human deep space exploration. It's going to be the first integrated flight test of NASA's deep space exploration systems, the Orion spacecraft Space Launch System rocket. SLS will carry 10 small satellites that will perform their own science and technology investigations. Artemis 3, scheduled for 2025, will see a spacecraft land for the first time on the south pole of the moon, where they hope to find water in the form of ice. As part of the Artemis missions, NASA is planning to send a woman and a person of color to the moon for the first time. Only 12 people, all of them white men, have set foot on the moon. That was during NASA's historic Apollo missions, which ended in 1972. We have hardware today in work around the world through Artemis 5. This isn't just a one flight and we're done. We are on our path to getting that base on the moon, to getting the understanding we need to go on to Mars, and doing the science that's front and center here in our program. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.